Well, every summer, many kids head to camp from sports to wilderness to scouting. There's something for everyone, but one that you probably wouldn't think of, the Springfield chapter of the American Organists hosted a rather unique camp, a pipe organ encounter. Peggy Weber tells us more. Twenty-six teenagers from throughout the Northeast, including four from the Diocese of Springfield, participated in a special pipe organ encounter. It was a chance to meet other young people who liked the organ and improve their skills. They lived at Smith College for the week, but practiced at various places, including St. Michael's Cathedral in Springfield. Ladislaw Pfeiffer, Director of Music for the Diocese of Springfield and Dean of the local American Guild of Organists chapter, helped organize this important event. The organ is an unusual instrument because unlike a clarinet or a saxophone, you can't put it in a case and walk off with it. You don't have one at home. And so kids don't own pipe organs. They're relying on institutions that let them practice or have lessons on them. But in addition to practice places, the pipe organ encounter also gives the teens a chance to meet others who also really liked the pipe organ. As one kid told me, um, he came up to me and says, I'm not the only one that's interested in this. And I said, no, you're not. There's going to be 26 other kids. And it was like, you know, wow. One of the 26 teenagers was Mitchell Sadowski of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish in Northampton. He said the pipe organ encounter was so close to his home that he could not miss out on that opportunity. And he said, he loves sharing his passion for the pipe organ with others. Oh, it's so great to see people my own age that love the pipe organ as much as I do. It's, it's great. Mitch said he came to love the pipe organ from going to church. When I was at church, I would be at mass and I would hear the organ in the back playing and it just filled the room and it was so beautiful. And I said, I wanna be a part of that and I wanna play that. And it was, that was it. World famous organist Christopher Houlihan was one of the instructors at the Pipe Organ Encounter. Chris got his start locally and now plays in New York City and is the artist in residence at Trinity College in Hartford. He praised the camp. Well, the Pipe Organ Encounter is a great program of the AGO and it gives young organists a chance not only to have a week of intensive lessons with a teacher, but especially to meet other young organists who have similar interests as them. And when I was uh, you know, 12 years old, I went to my first POE. Springfield chapter of the AGO helped send me to that. And it was a great opportunity uh, to meet adult organists and have lessons, but really, I, especially to meet other uh, new friends with, who also love the pipe organ. One of the difficulties young organists have in learning how to play the organ is to find a place to practice. But during this pipe organ encounter, they discovered a magnificent place here at St. Michael's Cathedral. Pipe organ encounter participants also got to see how pipe organs were made and just have fun. Other students from the diocese who participated in the pipe organ encounter were Will Lucardi of Russell, Adam Jukowitz of Chicopee, and Christina Daybeck of East Hampton. They also were told to appreciate the gift that they bring to others. Some of you will go on to pursue music as careers, and others of you will keep music as an avocation. But we just said no matter what level you use these gifts, um, you're always giving people something that they need. They need hope, encouragement. Christopher added that playing the organ is a full body experience. He said the instrument is enormous and can do so many things. And he is right. Just take a listen to a master like Chris. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber.